is wonderful. May 26, 2021. Happy full moon eclipse in Sagittarius. Okay. So also welcome to day 13 of 21 days of no complaints. Excuse the nails again. Gotta do the nails. <laughs> While practicing <clears throat> intentional gratitude. So day 13 in tarot in the major arcana it represents death transformation and rebirth and i thought <clears throat> excuse me to myself how fitting because today we're in this full moon eclipse and it's all about that it's all about things coming to light coming to surface things hidden being revealed it's all about renewal it's all about release it's all about transformation um, and so I felt it fitting to have a theme for that. So today it's not tarot, it's strictly Oracle. So you, there are three decks here. I don't know if you guys can see all three. <clears throat> we have three, uh, tarot, that <laughs> Oracle decks. Okay. And they're going to be used for separate purposes. The first deck right here is going to be used for the area of your life today that First of all, we want to practice gratitude for anything that we need to be aware of to release and to ascend, okay? So in other words, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be the same area because more often than not, if we're releasing, <clears throat> yep, there it is, throat chakra, if we're releasing from an area, there's it's because there is an ascension taking place. There is an upgrade, if you will. So often, there is a death and transformation in an area that we're being drawn to ascend, awaken, um, evolve, right? So that's what this deck is going to represent. The middle deck is going to represent what you need to know about your process possibly any advice here and then lastly this is going to be a crystal and sacred geometry um, activation for you <clears throat> in terms of assisting you on a quantum level on an epigenetic level on um, um, energetic level right to assist you with the process of what that is like for you okay and so this is going to be short and sweet, I hope. I have been working diligently to try to um, minimize the time I'm spending on the reading. So without any further ado, let's get into it. I recommend that you set your own intention and ask your guidance team to support you. It's a general reading, so to support you in anything that may be relevant for you, anything else, simply transmute it out, okay? Sending it right back to Gaia because not everything that's going to be said is going to be for you, okay? So just take what is, and then y'all know the rest, right? All right, so without any further ado, let's start with the first step here. The area that you're needing that transformation with this full moon eclipse, what needs to be brought to the awareness to surface that's happening with this eclipse as well as what's being renewed, what's being up, uh, how you say, upgraded. So what I'll do with the first deck is I'll pull for you two. I'll specifically ask what needs to be released, even though it's one of the same, right? But I want to see the contrast or how that comes out for you. So we'll ask one card, what area needs to be brought to your awareness? in this full moon and that you should be grateful for because we're still merging it with that gratitude gratitude for it being brought to your awareness so that's what the eclipse full moon does everything secret everything hidden everything oppressed everything suppressed right everything denied everything hidden is stirred right so we're going to ask and it's going to be in alignment with your highest good your higher wisdom what your higher soul is deeming fitting in the most loving way because everybody is different and in different places your higher self knows how and where that's going to resonate for you okay and so take it as such okay all right light team for the collective 
We're merging our 21 days of no complaints while practicing intensive gratitude. We're on day 13. Major Arcana, death and rebirth with full moon eclipse in Sagittarius, May 26, 2021. The areas of life that's needing to be brought to their awareness, ready to be released. What needs to die? There has to be a death for there to be a rebirth. So what needs to die? And then what is ascending as a result of the death? Death and rebirth. This transformative energy. Please and thank you. Belevolent love energy only. I evoke the violet fire around me, around this reading, around this space. Around Bloom from Within Love, around the technology, around all those who will ever view Bloom. May this reading reach on a global scale. All who needs it, wants it, and is aligning to it and ready for it when they need it. In accordance with their higher self and highest greatest good. And may the Vita Fire surround me and this video. Please and thank you. I ground into Gaia. I refortify my aura fields here. Hmm. Belevolence only. <clears throat> Freedom, liberty, and justice for all. Sounds like the United States Pledge of Allegiance, but that's not what I'm doing. It's, it's on an energetic level. Okay. <laughs> All right, light team, let's do it. Let's get two cards, one for death and one for rebirth. And for this deck, light team, what is ready to be released? What is ready to die? To be released. What needs to be brought to the awareness? To die. To be released. Whatever that is for the collective light team, to be released <clears throat> on this 13th day. And during this full moon eclipse, to be released, like team. <laughs> Have a feeling it's gonna be resistance in some area. To be released, like team. <clears throat> there it is. <clears throat> Oof. Okay. Oh, card number four. So many of you are going through. Um, I hope you guys can see this. Card number four is all about foundation. It's the four elements, it's the four directions. Card number four, home, sun and cancer, water energy. Focus on your home and love. Quite interesting. This is the card that came out when it needs to be released and die. Okay, so, okay, at the bottom of the deck for this question, we have <clears throat> another water energy, another sun sign. So some of you may be dealing with water signs, um, Pisces and cancer or they may have a lot of water in their chart, or it just simply um, may just be dealing with the element of emotion, <clears throat> excuse me, and water. But we have a synchronicity here, you guys. We have card number 12 breaking down to a three and then four. Okay, so align yourself with love and wisdom, higher purpose. So many of you are going through a death and rebirth and it's fitting for this North Node energy that we are currently in. Okay, because that's all about the higher purpose. It's all about your soul's yearning. So what that's telling me is that many of you are going to have to let go of foundations that um, come from your ancestry, that comes from your culture, your bloodline, um, belief systems and structures. That's what reminds me of four. It all Four represents the emperor and the, and the major arcanas as well. And so that's all about the emperor is a leader, an authority figure, right? And so letting go, oftentimes the emperor can be stubborn and the emperor can be resistant, especially if it has something to do with strong roots as a foundation. And I'm saying this because we're asking what needs to die, what needs to be released. So it could be an attachment to a mindset, a belief system regarding what home should be, what home and love should look like and be like, right? 
um, regarding, you know, what healthy emotions are. Many of you may have um, a foundational sabotagery root about what is emotional healthiness. What is a healthy sense of emotional love and home and family, right? So we're saying what needs to be released and what needs to die is probably a belief system. It's a rigid way of believing and of thinking regarding the home life, regarding love, okay? Regarding even how to properly focus on it, okay? Maybe you got some outdated views about what that should play out and it's no longer serving you anymore in the way your higher soul has beckoned for you that you set up before you carnated. It's saying like, okay, this used to work 10 years ago. This is not working for you no more. Okay, this worked for your mother and dad, but this is not working for you, all right? This may be what you're used to, and maybe what your culture dis dictates, and maybe what society dictates, yada, yada, but it's not working. You're not happy. Your soul is not fulfilled, okay? It's because it's beckoning you to your higher purpose, all right? So, I'm sorry. So, there may be things that is in the way of you, being able to align properly with your higher purpose due to some attachments to home in an unhealthy way or home life needing to look and play out in a certain way for many of you, okay? There you go. Ooh, all right, let's move on to the next deck, Light Team. For this deck, what the collective needs to know and or any advice that they would have concerning this death and rebirth. Oh, I said two cards. I'm sorry, you guys. Oopsie. Ooh, oops, sorry. <laughs> Somebody must have said it energetically. <laughs> so that needs to die. All right, like two. What, as this is dying and they release, what's being rebirthed or elevated? and transformed into a higher consciousness for the collective here. Light team. What is, there it is. All right, we got fire. We got all these sun signs, wow. Joy, wow. A time of celebration and success, card number five. Listen, you guys, synchronicity, three, four, five. Because at the bottom of the deck, it was three. There's four, here's five. And these cards have been shuffled over and over and over and over and over okay so now we have fire we have water and fire alchemy so as you go through this death and let these old outdated structures mindsets ways attachments as you allow them to simply transform through the natural death cycle you are elevating to a more celebratory kind of an energy a joyful energy, a time of success regarding home and love. As you let the old go, there's going to be a renewed sense of happiness, a new sense of balance. And since I see three people here, I'm drawn to um, that a feeling of teamwork and collaboration, a feeling of freedom and liberty and being able to be yourself versus an old limited way that made you feel like you couldn't, okay? Where you had to contort and be all sorts of other things. You know what I'm saying? That you're not, right? It, it'll be, you will create and manifest in the home life, in regarding home, regarding love, a sense of celebration, joy, and success. It's worth letting it die, okay? It's worth letting it die. Um, at the bottom for this, we have card number 26, which is, a, which is an A, a change of heart. Re-evaluation, eclipse, oh my gosh. Now, the eclipse is in Sagittarius, but this being in Taurus is telling me that in Taurus season, okay, even though I think we just passed out of Taurus into Gemini. So maybe something took place in Taurus season where you started having a change of heart. But, or we may still be. No, I think we're in Gemini. I think, but anyways. 
a change of heart, realize, look at all these sunflowers. Card number 26 breaks down to an eight. Mastery, baby. Mastery. Inf uh, infinity. Abundance, right? That you want happiness. Look at them sunflowers. Love. That this is what you're manifesting as you let this other stuff that's not working. Commitments foundations that are not working, that are not producing a healthy home life, a healthy love life, right? <clears throat> Letting it go so you can produce and manifest joy because you've had a change of heart realizing what? Look at this big old heart with the sunflowers. You want to be happy. You want to create. You realize you deserve it. You realize you have the power and the mastery to be able to produce it by reevaluating what? Your belief systems and what you think is happiness, what you think home and love should look like for you. Okay, powerful. You guys are aligning with joy and celebratory success energy in the areas of home and love. A healthy foundation with that number four. Okay, much needed change to go into joy. All right, let's move it on now. Thank you, light team. All right, so what does the collective need to know and or advice from this deck here concerning this death and rebirth? All right, light team. What do they need to know and or advice? What do they need to know? And or advice, light team. A lot of hoppers on this one. What do they need to know? And or advice, light team. There it is. Boom, baby. A win. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Ooh, yeah. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. So... This is what many of you need. Justice is stand smack in, in the middle of this moon. <laughs> so this represents justice to me. So what many of you need to know is this. First of all, focus on win-win. Whoever is watching this, the higher frequency and vibrational way of being and doing and living and thinking is a win-win attitude towards things, okay? Towards things, towards situations, towards people, okay? When you take on that energy and that mindset, you amplify your probability with law of attraction in the healthy form, okay? Versus feeling like somebody has to lose in order for you to win, okay? That's the low vibrational version. That's that survival of the fittest. That's the lower level of human energy, okay? And we all have that as a default mechanism to survive. But when you start to awaken and evolve and ascend, you come to realize that it doesn't have to be that way. Okay? That all that stuff is a program and it's designed to keep people in a certain energy. Okay? Now, moving on. <laughs> Many of you need to know that, yeah, as you're going through this process, you're producing and creating win-win outcomes for you. And for many of you, it may be in this very full moon cycle. And others of you, it will be when the next full moon hits in Libra. Okay? But it doesn't have to be. To me, Libra is just representing, intuitively here, it's just representing justice. Okay? Justice will prevail a win-win during the full moon. Okay? So it can be during this one because it's three days after today that it's still going on now. Or it can be in the very next full moon that we have in the next, I want to say, 26 days or so. Okay. As you go through this process with the current energy of the full moon. Yeah. Okay. So mm, mm, mm. Woo. at the bottom of the deck, yeah, baby. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. This may be directly a lot of air here with this deck. Um, yeah. Many of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. You may be an Aquarius or have it in your chart, but it doesn't have to be. 
It's just simply saying, as you show the world the real you, this is what's happening for you. When you decide to accept yourself for who you are, when you decide to be true to who you are, true to what you feel, what you think, what you believe, and what you want, show the world the real you, this is when all of this is going to change for you. It's pertinent. Otherwise, you're just going to keep re repeating the same cycles that you've always repeated that have gotten you the same results that you have always gotten. Okay, and this goes for all of us. I'm just saying, none of us are an exception to this rule. Not me, not you, not no one else. Whether we think it and believe it or not. Now, <laughs> sorry. No, I'm not. I'm being real. I'm showing the world the way I'm the real me. I'm trying to do it as authentically as I can here. Okay. My team, an activation from the Crystal Grid Oracle to assist the collective here with, first of all, that awareness to what needs to die. Then to the willingness to surrender and allow it to go through the death process. And ultimately to align with what's going to produce this greatest joy and for this win-win outcome for them. In the most gracious way, loving way, divinely, perfectly aligned way with their higher wisdom and heart and greatest good for themselves and all that are involved here. My team, <clears throat> what we got, something for the death and then I'll get something for the rebirth. Something for the death here. So it's just with that letting go, that, uh, okay. Ruby, record keeper, card number 30, passion, interesting. You might want to take a soft little gaze at this because it's activated. Hmm. Passion. Maybe that needs to die or the attachment. That's the word that's coming to me, attachment. Because we just ask what needs to die. What, what would assist with letting something die out or it could also be whatever it is that's stealing your passion that's stealing <clears throat> your vitality when we hold on rigidly and incessantly to things that is trying to go through a natural death cycle it starts to take it starts to drain the passion that's what just came through okay so this will assist with rejuvenating your passion and bringing awareness to where it's being drained, okay? So you can release it. Because once you have awareness, then you can make a sound decision out of your free will because you still have a free will. But this will assist with that. Okay, so we have that here to help with the death Heart. At the bottom, we have communication and number three. Okay, yeah. And this one is shall confide communication. Okay, this is at the bottom of the deck. So anything that is blocking your throat chakra, anything that is um, lodged in the belief systems because belief systems sit in our throat. Okay. Um, this right here will assist with kind of alchemizing that bringing to light what falsehood the root of it what is it about home and love in your life that's got you on this repetitive groundhog's day that's trying to go through its natural uh process of death and rebirth okay and we're grateful for this because if had had it not been brought to the surface with this full moon energy and day 13 here we'll just keep playing it out blindly okay so yeah cleanse is next with the shungite yes yeah, so, i mean it certainly needs to cleanse all right light team now what's being rebirthed or awakened what will assist with that okay 
boundaries. Ooh, this is good. Card number 21 and number three. So three, three, three is um, significant. So many of you need to look at three, three, three. Okay. Three, three, three and four. Let me see. Three, three, three. God, synchronicity. Look, three, 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 four, five. Yeah, but certainly three, 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 okay? So boundaries is what's being birthed. Oh, I love this. Calcite. Okay, fairy stone. So with things being brought to you about what is draining your passion, okay, with card number 30 here, Bringing that to awareness to help you to identify and then to release and allow to die anything in you, in your life, in your belief system, in your foundation, you're attached to regarding home, family, love. As that is being released, a healthy sense of boundary here, a loving sense of boundaries where maybe there were no boundaries before. Okay, in terms of your home and love life. Maybe you let too many people involved. Maybe you allow too many opinions. Maybe you were too stuck on someone else's opinion versus your own. Maybe, you know, the people in your life, you didn't have healthy boundaries set up, which drained your passion and drained your joy, right? This is helping to activate a healthy sense of teamwork with it breaking down to a three, a healthy, not this kind of narcissistic, out of balance template and programming that people try to perpetuate as teamwork, okay? But in accordance with your higher heart and soul, what's right, true, and just and fair for all, what that teamwork is supposed to look like with healthy boundaries that's gonna be honoring and respectful to you, okay? and all that are involved so that you can hold this joy. Boundaries will be needed and boundaries are not laws. Boundaries are good and true and right, okay? It's a, it's a form of honor to the self, right? Everybody needs them, okay? So many of you probably never really had that and maybe that's coming up with this full moon and eclipse, okay? Uh, Maybe that's the signal that that concludes this reading. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So that's um, that's powerful. And at the bottom, we got peace. Look, card number 16, okay, peace. So as you all allow this natural cycle, okay, to go through, you know, Retrieving your passion, setting these healthy boundaries, you will have a stronger sense of peace within you and everything that you do and just maintaining a peaceful life. Not to say we won't go through the ups and downs and the natural cycles, but your norm and your natural state will be more of peace from within that is not gonna be predicated on nobody else. Okay, it ain't gonna be predicated because first of all, you're gonna have the healthy boundaries and the folks ain't acting right. You're gonna already have that taken care of, right? So that's gonna create a level of peace by itself. Okay, but beyond that, just knowing how to be more balanced and eliminating and letting die things that are stealing passion and dampering the joy of your life, okay? Staying focused on win-win situations in your life and creating that passion being restored, these healthy boundaries, living a more peaceful life, all right? All right, I hope that this reading resonated for you all. Remember to breathe through this. The emotions are still running high, you guys. Give yourself some time, some space, whatever you have to do. <laughs> Try your best is to not get in confrontations if it's at all avoidable today. Try to be more introspective. Forget about looking at what's wrong with everybody else. Try to go within yourself. Not so you can judge yourself, but so you can be real with yourself. Why? If you are ready for something different and something new from the inside out, that's the only way to get to it. 
Everything else is always fickle and fading, okay? Everything is energy. Balance is key. Love yourself. Live for yourself. Be good to yourself. Honor yourself. At the end of the day, you are with yourself. Talk to you guys next time. Love and light and namaste. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you are interested in being placed in a raffle to win a free personal reading with me, please subscribe and state your interest and we will go from there. Everything is energy, you guys. Balance is key. Thank you so very much for your time and take it easy. Breathe through this full moon eclipse. Love and light. Namaste.